God bless you all. Praise be the name of the Lord. May Jesus' name be praised, worship, magnified, honored, adored in Jesus' name. Amen. What a great God. What a mighty Father. What a Holy One of Israel. What a great Father of our Lord Jesus. What a great being we worship. His name be praised forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. We lift you higher above every other name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Hallelujah. We lift you higher above every other name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Hallelujah. We lift you higher above every other name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. We lift you higher above every other name your name is jesus your name is lord we lift you higher above every other name your name is jesus your name is lord we lift you higher above every other name oh yes your name is jesus your name is lord we lift him higher above every other name there are names sickness is a name Problem, your challenge is they have different names. Hatred is a name. Demon is a name. Devil, darkness, they are names. Continue mentioning their names. But there's a name above every other name. Any name that comes, we try to rise. Bam! But across along the line, the name will now discover that there is a name above it. And that's the name of Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. We lift you higher above every other name. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. We lift him higher above every other name. The name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous will run into him and they'll be protected. The righteous will run into him, they'll be preserved. The righteous will run into him, they'll be kept. The righteous will run into him, and they are preserved. To the King of King, God of God, every praise and worship, every adoration, dominion, every excellency, goodness, every reality, power, purpose, be unto the name of our Father, and our King and our Lord and Master forevermore, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We thank you. Your word is about coming forth now. Father of our Lord Jesus, let our word come forth with power. Let our word come back with the force, O oh Lord, with the great influence to deal with the power of darknesses and let it be destabilized forever. My King, let it be the word that opened the eyes of the spiritual and physical blind. Father, the, the physical and the spiritual deaf and dumb, let the word open up. Mighty man in battle, the agent of the days. The God of honor, power, might, and majesty. The God of reality, power, and praise. The Lord have been and will ever be the immortal and invisible God. The mighty man of all the ancient of the days. Arise. Arise, Jehovah. Arise, Adonai. Arise, Emmanuel. And make a name for yourself. Speak that we will hear. At the end, let the name of God alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Speak, we will hear, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. It is well with the righteous. We're still on the word of God. 
no leave, no transfer. The word must be preached until he comes. The word must be preached until Jesus comes. The word must be preached in the morning, afternoon, night, day in, day out. Thank God that there are so many righteous people all over the world still preaching the truth. Despite the multitude are just mixing up the thing, there are still real men of God. There are still real women of God who are not known, who are not televised, who are still in secret preaching. The churches are preached throughout last month. Wow. I went to several churches. I begin to see hidden apostles of Jesus. I begin to see men of holiness and righteousness that have not been projected to the world. So, wow. I begin to have comfort and consolation. A man of God, he will go to his church, every member of the church, we have had the word of truth and word of life. You begin to see how this Sunday dressed. You begin to see different things happening. You say, wow, what a mighty man of war. What a great God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him, even the angels bow before him. To him, our God, be your the glory, amen and amen. I want you to continue being among the righteous. Continue being among the few. Continue being among the few. That when you talk about them, Jesus to talk about them. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus today and forevermore. Amen. Wonderful God. To him alone be all the purpose and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. We have a God who will never fail. We have a Father that we never fail. We have a Savior who we never fail. Who can never fail, who will never fail, forevermore. I have a God who never fail. I have a Father that will never fail me. I have a Savior who will never fail, who can never fail, and will never, never fail. Forevermore. We have a God that has not failed, cannot fail, and that will never, never fail forevermore. Amen. We're talking about peace, fruits of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is so much lacking today in the church. It's missing. You will see somebody who is well dressed, covered up everywhere, say, Wow, what a wonderful child of God. What a powerful child of God. But do something with that person. Ah! The way the person will like, hung on you, say, ah, ah, I thought he's born again. I thought you are a child of God. Mm -mm. Some people have gone to extent of saying Christianity, it doesn't reach here. And people will always say that his Christianity doesn't reach here. Whatever thing he wants to do, he, do, he will do that. What takes Christ away from you. You drop him somewhere, you go somewhere, you come back again, you wear him up again. Why are you deceiving yourself? The choice is yours. Is that not to remain in Christ forever and be a seed of God? Or you drop from faith. The Bible said that righteousness is also a nature, sin is a reproach. What is also a nature is righteousness. May the mighty hand of God help us. The power of Jehovah Shalom, the immortal and invisible God, help us. We're talking about peace. You see what is happening? The thing that will make somebody's peace to go, to be flown off from the past, is all happening. Didn't you see what uh, United, uh, uh, United Nations, you saw the latest image, the model, as described in the book of Revelation and the book of Daniel. It will have the face of a leopard. Structure of a lion and wing of an eagle. It's not a mistake. They are fulfilling the Bible. Hmm? They are fulfilling the Bible. I think when I was going through it, they say, Mezikon, whatever, design the thing. <laughs> they are fulfilling the Bible. That image you saw, that image you saw, the day, the time beast will come. The beast will turn that image to be, a, 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 to turn to human. To turn like a very dangerous being. The scripture is being fulfilled. Every day. Every day the word of God is being fulfilled. And everything is getting ready to meet his maker. Except human beings. 
Man is still busy wallowing in sin. Man is still busy telling lies. Man is still busy killing. Man is still building, politicking, knowing what to do, people to kill, people to destroy, as to go into politics. <laughs> it is righteousness that will exhaust a nation. Sin is a reproach. Child of God, what have served your peace? Let me tell you. Except you have peace in Christ, you will always live in pieces because your peace will be broken in pieces. But when you see this thing happening, you have peace in Christ. Mm. Your peace is in Christ. Your peace is resided in Christ Jesus. Your peace is resided in Christ. For the joy of the Lord will remain the strength. For the joy of the Lord will be the strength of your life. Child of God, where is the peace of God in your life? Peace is given by God through the Holy Spirit. And then you maintain it by living a clean, holy life. Through living and obedience to the word of God and the Holy Spirit. We're talking about how to maintain peace. Many people have received the peace and it went off. I was trying to tell you things to do to receive peace, to maintain peace. Number one is going to prayer. Number two is that you live a life of gratitude, always glad and happy. Number two is right thinking. You think in a right way, Bible say, are they good, are they pure, are they holy? Think on this thing. You think on the good one, trusting, trusting God. That's when you have peace. Obedience to the word of God. That's when you have peace. Fixing your mind on God. Number six is fixing your eyes. Many people have fixed their eyes on trouble. Many have fixed their eyes on problems. Many have fixed their eyes on sickness. Many have fixed their eyes on so many things. And their peace went off. When you fix your eyes on what you're seeing, when you fix your eyes on the situation around about you, your peace will fly away. Your peace will leave you. Your peace will go. But my prayer says that your peace will not go. Your peace will come back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your peace will re 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 remain in you. Vaccine, no vaccine. Uh -huh. Image, no image. Persecution, no persecution. Gone short everywhere. It's not only in Imo State. It's not only in Nigeria. Many parts of Africa, many parts of the world. Gone short everywhere. Let me tell you, unless you have peace, you cannot sleep. Unless you have peace, you cannot reside gently inside of yourself. Because you're seeing problem every day. You're seeing trouble every day. You're seeing this, you're seeing that. You're seeing this, you're seeing that. But when you have the peace of God, when the joy of the Lord is your strength, hallelujah. Woo! When the joy of Jehovah is your strength, when the joy of mighty man of valor is your strength, when the joy of the Lord is your strength, you can go extra mile to do what you want to do. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. For the joy of the Lord is the strength of our life. We must live to glorify him forever in Jesus' name. Then, remembering that God is good. When you remember that God is just good, that's point seven. Point eight is that take up shield of what faith. You must, if this will not happen by itself. You must command it. The Bible says, have you commanded your morning? The Bible says, it should be created, it should be established unto you. So child of God, it won't just happen. You must have to do something for something to happen. Are you hearing me? You got to do something for something to happen. You got to make a decree. You got to work it out. The Bible says, work out yourself. Virtue with trembling and with fear. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. If you don't value the peace you have, the devil will take it away from you. Until you value your peace, you might not know how people are praying to remain healthy. You are healthy, maybe you are lacking one thing or the other. You are crying every day, every day, at the detriment of your joy, at the detriment of your peace. The one you are having is bigger. The one you are having is greater. Child of God. What am I trying to say? Child of God, what am I trying to speak? For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Peace will come to you. Today we are starting on point nine. Point nine say, ask for a divine wisdom. Many of us lose their peace because they are not asking for divine wisdom of God. They are not asking for wisdom. They just want to do it their way. There are opportunities that will come that are not from God. 
I was reading a man of God's story today. He said he went to his village, he was poor. A man came to him and told him, man of God, you see, I love God, I love the work of God. Uh, you see, you don't have a home in the village. And uh, anytime you want to build a house, just find the land. I will supply everything. You pay me later. The man of God said he agreed, thinking it was a divine opportunity from God. Every open door is not opened by God. Some of them are opened by Satan and he's inside it. Before I understand it, the man said they started the building. By the time the building was on the roofing level, the man came and said, where is my money? You want to roof it and pack it? Where is my money? Give me my money, oh, give me my money. The man of God said, eh, she me see problem, oh, she me see trouble. Not be me talk about this, so oh. you initiated it. Not every opportunity is of the Lord. Pray, child of God. When you see such opportunity glittering, pray, pray. If you don't know how to pray, ask another person to pray for you. And you know what I'm saying? Pray. 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 Every open door is not from God. Does every opportunity you see is not divine. Oh my God. In the book of Psalm 32 verse 8, remember we are starting on point 9 that say, ask for a divine wisdom. If you want to have peace, you must operate in divine wisdom. All the people that refuse to operate in divine wisdom, they make a lot of mistakes in their life. But the question I want to ask you is this. How many times will you make a mistake in your life before you begin to take correction? Verse 8, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. The Lord is saying, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eyes. Hallelujah. The Lord said, He will instruct you the way you will go. Do you get instruction? He said, I will instruct you. That means, that's what I created all this thing. I gave you wisdom to pray. But I am the one to instruct you. Have I instructed you? Have I told you what to do? You just get up and jump into that issue. You just get up and jump into that. Did I instruct you? Did I tell you what to do? We have made a lot of mistakes. And we lose our peace. Some people are supposed to read medicine. But today they are reading political science. They will have inches all the days of their life. You see? You have to ask. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. Ask me of this wisdom. You lost the peace because you're not operating in wisdom. You have human wisdom, not divine wisdom. Ask for divine wisdom. When you ask for divine wisdom, your peace will be there. You will be laughing. You say yes. When other people that never ask for divine wisdom will be talking, you because you ask for divine wisdom. You ask for divine wisdom from above. You ask for divine wisdom of Jehovah, the mighty man of Allah. And what else will you do than to dance and rejoice and say, I ask of this divine wisdom from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That's number one. Ask Paul. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eyes. Not only instructing you, he will, when you walk in the ways of the Lord, he will guide you with his eyes. When you're making a mistake on the move, he will redirect you. Yes. He will redirect you. He will tell you what to do. We have lost our peace. Look at that man of God, he has no peace in his home. Look at that woman of God, he has no peace. Look at that prophet, look at that prophet. For prophet there's no more peace. Look at that apostle, no more peace. Every time nagging, this is because he has made a wonderful mistake of his life. But he didn't ask of the Lord. One, of, one man of God was telling me, people came and was advertising network. Uh -huh. You see this network? You did it, da, 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 da. All the network I have entered, they failed me. But for this particular one, ah, this network is, and that. He has to go and borrow money. The man completed the money for him. He told me, he said, hmm, now for over one year, not even cobble, not even fadden has come out of this thing. For over one year, I started laughing. I said, man of God, did you pray? He said, I know pray now. They have sweet voice. They have a very sweet voice and they tune me into the hotel. I said, have you seen it? 
I said, have you seen it? Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. May the Lord give you divine wisdom. May the Lord give me divine wisdom to operate. Check any man that acts of the Lord. Check any man that have divine wisdom. The way he operates and does his thing is quite different from other people. Because the Lord is the one that told him to do what he's doing. He doesn't have hitch on the way. Because he will always seek approval of Jehovah. That's number nine. That's what divine wisdom. May you receive divine wisdom. May I receive divine wisdom. So that our peace will remain in the name of Jesus Christ. Point ten. Have in mind that God is sovereign. Hallelujah. The God is in control. Whenever you have this in mind, the God is in control. The God is all in all. Whenever you have this in mind, the God is the owner of the whole universe. What he says will happen. What he thought will happen. Everything happening around about you is under the control of God. When you know that God is sovereign, when you know that God is all in all, any small thing that happens, we begin to fidget. Any small thing that happens, we begin to fidget. God is all in all. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. 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 And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are the God according to his purpose. All things are working together for good. Child of God, anything that happens to you is working for your betterment. Anything that God allowed to happen is working for your betterment. But we have used worries. We have used crying. Why? Why is it that you are asking God something? And after prayers... Instead of you to believe and have that confidence that God is there, you start crying. When the devil come in with any agent, you begin to cry. Say, God, I don't understand. Why? You lose your peace. Don't you see the way you are looking? Whenever you are losing your peace, who is losing? You are the one losing. You are losing internally. You are losing externally. Allow it in the hands of the Lord. You have prayed. Bible said, cast the cares upon him, for he cared for you. Cast all your cares. But we cast our cares and we go back and carry them back again. A man saw a woman that was carrying a heavy load. The man is having this open car that is called pickup. We call it pickup here in, in, in Nigeria. So the man stopped and told the, uh, uh, helped the old woman to carry the, the goose, uh, the, the load he was carrying inside the back of the pickup. And the woman entered at the back of the pickup. When they have gone a little bit, a little bit far, the man turned back through the opening there at his back and saw the woman again still carrying the load. Uh -uh. He saw the woman still carrying the load on the head, and the any gallop, the woman it will check. The woman will be holding the thing tightly. Uh -uh. The man turned and stopped and said, "Mama, why not? Why are you carrying the load?" The woman said, hey, my son, will you carry me and carry my load now? Eh? And so carry me, let me help carry my load. You see the way we are helping foolishly, ignorantly. Why must that be? No, it will not be. No, it will not happen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hey, great God. The man said, Mama, please carry down the load. And at the end of the day, the woman carried down the load. Mm. May the mighty hand of God help us. May the excellent power of Jesus help us. May the great I am that I am help us. The most precious and true God, may he help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God help us. Unbelief. Doubt. Huh? God said, cast your cares upon him. He said, man of God, I can pray. I pray throughout the night. In the morning, you are crying. What is the sense of your prayers? You are wasting your time and prayers. You pray for five, three hours, but you don't have faith. Huh? Believe 
that God is sovereign. He knows everything. He knows the ending from the beginning. He allowed that. God wants to go 100 miles with you. He is only in two miles and you are complaining. You are shouting. Are you not the one that said, I want to grow? Are you not the one that said, God, use me? And God is trying to pass you through situations and pass you through circumstances. You are still worrying. Do you think that if you die now, you go to heaven with these worries? No. All these worries and anxieties. Because the Bible said, forget about your worries. Cast your cares upon him. You say, no, I will not cast upon you. That means disobedient to the word of God. With all these cares, you, the, the, I tell you, the person will not make heaven. Surely and truly speaking. The person will not, in any form, make heaven. Child of God, do you want to make heaven? Then shun worries. Shun all these things from your life. Look what happened in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. God is sovereign. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. But as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much life alive. Oh my God. To save much life alive. You see, Joseph refused to cry. Joseph refused to be worried. Joseph could have caused his brethren. Me. You people are selling me. Because I have no elder brother. He shall never be well with you, children of God. Why don't, do we bust into caution people easily? Look, eh, all of you, you will not go home in peace. In church, eh, you will not get married. Eh? When you marry, your children, they will sell your children. We get into caution. Why can't we relax to know what God is doing? God is tired of our unbelief. Allow him. You said, I give my life to Christ. I give my life to Christ. You are the one that said you gave your life to Christ. That means God should take control. And God wanted to shape in you. I said, the container you are in, your hand is coming out. You are bringing out your head. Let me shape your hand. Let me shape your left head. He said, no, no, leave me like that. Leave me like that. You are known as a complainant everywhere you are seen. You will complain of what you are praying. And God is not hearing. And God is not crying. Do you think that your complaining can even change God? He cannot change him. Trust and obey. You must live according to the word of God. You have prayed instead of you to have faith. One little thing will happen. You say, hey, they have started again. No, they have started again. No. After praying for somebody, the person was healed, perfectly healed from a deadly disease that medicine could not heal. After one month, the person was calling me, daddy. It's like I'm having the symptom. I said, shut up your mouth. Don't make a stupid statement. Just don't be a fool. Why? Why? What have you to do with symptoms? It's like you are sensing. It's like is the peace not gone? Uh -uh. This morning, somebody called me. Daddy, I am sick. I want you to pray for me. I said, uh -huh. He said, uh, I am sick. Oh. I said, okay. He said, yesterday. Uh, 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 he said, one day or uh, some days ago, one man came. Uh, he touched my head. And then they said the man is an occultic man. And then I, I, I became sick. He said, I said, come on, shut up your mouth. Are you not ashamed? Stop disgracing Jesus of Nazareth. Look at the way you're disgracing the God. An occultic man touched you. Instead of his, with a charm. Instead of his hand to paralyze immediately. Instead of him to fall on the ground. You are bold to say, an occultic man touched you and your God. And you and your God became sick. Come on, shut up your mouth and reason very well. What kind of generation children are we having today? What kind of generation Christians are we having today? Who did this thing to us? Why are we like this? What is happening to us? Can't we amend our ways? He, he has started thinking about the man. I started thinking about the man. And her peace left her. Man of God, pray. I sent you a text message yesterday. You did not reply me. That is why I am calling you now. Bringing unnecessary worries. Adding load to load. Because you choose to lose your peace. Why must you lose your peace? Uh -uh. Why must you lose your peace? One day, I saw where they made a stupid deadly sacrifice. I just came down and made a decree there. Yeah? After prayers, I took the thing out, threw every nonsense away. As I went back to my car to drive, 
My hand started doing peck, 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 peck. I said, shut up. Eh? You're not afraid. Eh? A voice was telling me, is that thing you remove? I said, it cannot be. I said, it will never be. It cannot be. Come on. Shut up. It must be by force. So. Since the death of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. You must decree it and speak it and stand your ground. I said, hey, shut up. I never noticed it. It is even now that I'm remembering it. Since the last month or last two months. God of mercy, we show us mercy. In the wonderful name of Jesus. The Bible says. Joseph told them. He was sold. From this way I buy him. He was sold to Egypt. From Egypt. Potiphar bought him. From Potiphar to prison. Did you hear one day Joseph said. With this power of interpretation of dreams I have. To God. It shall never be well for my brothers. It shall never be well for my brothers. As the students sold me, so will their generation perish. Did you hear such a thing? Such a thing never happened. He never made such a proclamation. Is you know what we're doing today? Who was talking to me and said, uh, because the way he spoke to me, he attracted a cause. I have to lay a cause on him. Anytime you lay cause on somebody, you are removing your peace. There's no peace for the wicked. Child of God. That thing God has started, allow him. Sometimes we cry, we complain, we fast and go to fasting again and fast again. And God said, yay, this one is not ready for my training. He valued the word and things in the world more than me. God will allow you. In the next 15, 10 years, you are still on the same level. In the next 20, 10 years, he said, God is not helping me. Look at this person. He got born again last month, last three months, four years ago. Look at what God is doing with him. He wants to break you. You refuse to be broken. Why are you losing your peace? You felt that the way you're painting your mouth and putting attachment and wearing neck dress that up exposes you. And then putting people in trouble and problem. You think it gives you peace? I was talking to somebody who said, Daddy, don't talk of my hair. What does your hair do? Does it give you peace that you are outside the will of God? Does it give you peace that you are sinning and committing evil? You feel that you are in the will of God. It's only righteousness that will exalt the nation. No. The Bible, the word of God says, sin is a reproach. This is time to arise and do the will of God. This is time to arise and say, no more. God, you are sovereign. Whatever thing I see in my life, I will glorify you. We are full of impatience. Ha! Oh, worry, anxiety. Before the miracle happens, you are broken down. You cannot live to eat the miracle again. Joseph refused to get broken. All he was passing through, he knows he's a destined child. One day I shall arrive. One day I shall end. One day it shall be from story to glory. You don't have the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is peace. That is why you're so troubled. That's why you're so worried. Can't you get matured? Can't you begin to say, God, train me. Let me be matured and begin to have the fruits in me. Let me I want to have the fruit of peace. When you don't have peace, what do you have? No peace in your marriage. No peace in your home. No peace in your office. No peace in your working place. No peace everywhere around about you. And you are still a child of God. It's not possible. You are a child of God. Wherever you go, you bring in peace. Do you know that the name of Jesus is Prince of Peace? Why then should you bring problem and trouble everywhere you go to? Child of God, rethink. Have a rethink. Rethink. And ask yourself a question. Who am I? Why am I different from the real thing and from the real people? May the mighty hand of God help us. May the glorious power of Jesus help us. And may Christ's name be honored forevermore. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Oh my God. You thought it's evil. I was quiet. Since you know that the Bible says all things are working together. That thing that is meant to hurt you, meant to destroy you, meant to maim you, it will turn to your glory. 
a lot of evil have been planned, planned against me. A lot of accusation came up. And a lot and a, a lot and a lot. I never retaliated. I never fought back. Today, what is happening? Day before yesterday, we we're having come to get together with men of God. Somebody stood up and said it there. So I remember when this man was accused and accused and accused. He said, My name. You identify my name. Do you still have a name? If you still have a name to protect, I doubt your Christianity. The only name you should protect is Jesus of Nazareth. When they speak against you, forget it. Ah, he spoke against me. You don't know he's giving you cheap popularity. Because of the accusation that was made against me, so many people came closer to see. By the time they came, they saw the opposite. They said, wow. They gave you a cheap popularity. Quit television and radio would have cost you a lot of money to popularize yourself. Child of God. Your peace should come back. Because you don't talk to that person, now, do you still have peace? Because you're bearing grudges of what that man, that woman, do you still have peace? Forgive and your peace will come back. May God give us grace. Number 10. Have in mind, okay, number 10, we have 10. Number 10 is have in mind that God is sovereign. No matter what is done to you, handle it in peace and joy. It is done to your own glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Depend on God's wisdom. Hallelujah. Don't depend on your own wisdom. That's point 11. Remember, point 9 said, ask for divine wisdom. Ask for it. Then, point 11 said, depend on God's wisdom. It is the same wisdom. You know what wisdom said? Wisdom said, I was there when he made the foundation of the head. I was there when he created the stars, the moon and plant. I was there when he did everything. Go back to that wisdom. That wisdom will guide you. There are so many undiscovered things here on earth. But as people get closer to God, 200 years ago, there was nothing like us. People kept getting nearer God, getting closer to God, getting nearer God, and discoveries were made. Cars came. There are so many things you can discover. You are born for greatness. Are you hearing me? You are not born ordinary. Stop picking things on the ground with chicks or chickens. You are made an ego. Think above. Reason well. And God will give you reason why he created you here on earth. Child of God. Depend on divine wisdom. On God's wisdom. Go. Depend on God's wisdom. On the wisdom from above. Not your own wisdom. Tell him daddy. My wisdom will fail me. I want to depend on your own wisdom. Your wisdom is great. Your wisdom is real. I want to depend on your own wisdom. Look at what the Bible said in Proverbs chapter 3 from verse number 19. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse number 19. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse number 19. Don't depend on your wisdom. If you depend on your wisdom, you will fail. If you depend on your wisdom, you will fail and be low and be down. Peace is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. As God, I want to have this fruit. And God will pass it through experiences of life. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 19. The Lord by wisdom have founded the earth. Have you seen it? Depend on the wisdom of it that founded the earth. He knows where you are. The Lord by wisdom have founded the earth. By understanding had he established the heaven. Hallelujah. Look at verse 20. By his knowledge, the depths are broken up. And the cloud dropped down the dew. Oh my God. Verse 21 says, My son, let not then depart from thy heart. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. Do you ask God for divine wisdom? Sometimes I'll come to my, the end of the rope. One day I came to the end of the rope. I didn't know what to do. I was praying and praying and praying. And the Lord spoke to me and said, Son, this thing now that you don't know how to do it, this thing now that you don't know how to do it, that I, the Lord, I know one million ways of doing it. I say, hey, daddy, teach me the best way to do it. And before I understand it, an idea came. I said, wow. Hey, God of divine wisdom. God of divine wisdom. 
God of divine wisdom. God of divine wisdom. May your name be glorified, Lord. May your name be magnified forever. God of divine wisdom. Depend on the wisdom of God. I love that song that says, I have no power of my own. In fact, you are too intelligent. Look at Ahitophel in the Bible. God gave him wisdom. He was depending on his wisdom. And that is why somebody else was sent to counter his wisdom. And in fact, his wisdom is supreme. His wisdom is then unbeatable wisdom. He, go, he went and hung himself. He was depending on his wisdom and not on the divine wisdom of God. Yes. Let me tell you, whenever wisdom is on whatever thing you are doing, a land can be given to somebody now, a piece of land could be given to somebody. And the person can useless it. But somebody of wisdom will come and maximize it and utilize it. That is divine wisdom. The owner of the land will tell you, I created this land for this purpose. I have fixed it this way. And you will see. And before you understand it, it works out. To the exaltation and glory of God. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. Depend on the wisdom of God. Stop depending on your wisdom. Let me tell you. When you depend, if you are a singer and you depend on the wisdom of God in the middle of the night, you have a song that nobody has sung before. If you are a seamstress, a teller, you know, depending on God, you go in the night and see a divine design that nobody has sewn on earth before. Do you know there are people that are making money? They will go and ask for inspiration of what nobody has done before. They will have it as first class and they will produce it. Before it will be mass produced everywhere, they go in and ask another wisdom. Every wisdom you have that is not uh, 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 accomplished by peace is not from God. Every wisdom from God will give you peace. Every wisdom from above will give you peace. Every wisdom from above will give you joy. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. To give you deep, great peace and understanding. And you have every cause to glorify the name of the Lord. Amen. Child of God. I hope you hear what we're talking tonight. About the peace. Do you have peace? Peace can only be gotten in Jesus. Your peace starts with your salvation. That day you are salvaged. That day you are born again. That day God is your father. Hey, you have great peace. You have great joy. Your fears will run away. That is why. There are people that entered church. They thought they are born again. You just change church and you are in another church. You thought you are born again. You are not born again now. When you are born again, there will be a change. You will be dancing the joy, the joy. That is why in those days, in 70s and early 80s, when people get born again, You'll be flogged. You'll be ostracized. Oh, you'll be joyous. You'll be happy in the Lord. Because you know you're a companion of heaven. Today, I, I, I don't want them to talk about me. I don't want them to gossip me. I will do this thing. I will do this thing. The same old dressing you are wearing, naked in yourself, exposing is what you're still wearing now. What proof that you're born again? The same attachment you have been putting on. All this is what you are still putting. What proof that you are born again? The same painting of your eyes and mouth and whatever you did as an unbeliever, you are still doing the name. What is this? The same nail you have been painting as an unbeliever in Christianity, you are still painting it. What proof that you are born again? The same way you react and talk to people, break their heart, hotly, harshly speak to them, is what you are still doing today. What is the proof that you are born again? Where is the proof of your Christianity? Where is the proof of your born againism? You don't have peace. You are eating up yourself. Uh -huh. You refuse to take correction. Where is the proof of your born againism? Don't deceive yourself. The Lord knows those who are His. 
He said, the foundation of God's standard is sure. The Lord knows those who are things. Hey, hey, instead of trouble, you compromise. Instead of trouble, you do it their way. Child of God. It's a high time. We have a change of repentance. It's a hard time we tell God we are sorry. And let our peace come back. The more you are doing this, and the more your peace is being stolen. Check now. You are supposed to have a bubbling peace and joy in you. The kind of peace and joy that will make you to get up in the morning and dance. And jump up and down. The kind of peace that will make you to sing every time. Whenever you are living in joy and in peace. You know, one of the things that happens is you keep on singing a song. Come on, you be, keep on beaming smile because you know that you are a demon in heaven. You know that there is a God who we never found. You know that the ancient of the days is there, the man of war. To him alone be all that glory in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God help us to depend on his wisdom and never on our wisdom. Point 12. Know that he loves you so much. Mm. When you know that he loves you so much. When you know that Jehovah loves you. When you know that hey, he loves me. Look at your wife. Those of us that are married, look at your husband. You sleep in the house with that man. You sleep in the same room with that woman. You are don't have up. You are not afraid because you know your wife loves her and you love your wife. You know your husband loves her and you love your husband. You are not suspecting anything. How much more God? When you have that consciousness that God loves me, He will not allow my feet to hit. You continue having peace. So you don't know who I am. If you have known who I am. You wouldn't say what you say. My peace cannot be removed. My joy cannot be tampered with by any man or by any woman. No, I know who I am. I have peace of God. Do you still have peace? Is the peace of God still in your life? When peace is there, you cannot be living in quarreling, becoming antagonistic, speaking evil every time, gossiping people. People who are ahead of you, praise them. And one day God will still take you ahead of them. But they say, don't mind that man. This and this and that. that, 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 that. Before you condemn anything, bring the real one. Are you hearing me? Before you condemn that imitation, bring the original. Show it to people and let them see. When you know that God loves you. Child of God, God loves you. As you're listening to me, I want to assure you that God loves you. He gives you his A. And you are breaking it free of charge. Is it not true? It's a proof that he loves you. The sunshine is shining on you. Look at different seasons of fruits. This evening, before I started preaching, I walked around about the compound. As I arrived to go over, I plucked it. I ate. I said, this God is God of love. You don't have had to appreciate what God has done. You don't even want to know that he loves you. All you want to see is that the things you have desired or you said that you have never gotten. These are the things you have gotten. Romans chapter 8 verse 38. Romans chapter 8 verse 38. Romans chapter 8 verse 38. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, Neither height nor depth, oh my God, neither height nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing, 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 nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Nothing. You see how much he loves you. You see, don't separate yourself from God, but not, apart from you, nothing separates you. There's a big bond. Don't you see what happened? God is binding you with himself. You are together. You have a seal. 
If there's a hedge over your life as a God's property, as the one that belongs to God, God loves you. A boy was born in a Christian family. The father, a powerful man of God. The boy left the system of God and went for charm. They were, uh, uh, he joined the court and there were many of them. When they went for the man to prepare charm for them, the man was preparing charm, preparing charm, preparing charm and came to the boy and asked him, do you have a Christian around you? He said, yes, my father is a pastor. He said, ha, this charm will not be for you. Please leave this place. The charm is not for you. Why? The boy have so backslided to the extent of agreeing with the devil. But the father have agreed that every of his son is covered in the blood of Jesus and have a seal of God. That even in the house of the devil, the devil still rejected that person. I decree that every member of your house, as you're born again, whether your wife or your husband, your children, let there be a seal of God over their life in the name of Jesus. That even they mistakenly get outside God, God will put them inside of him again. I've told all my children, any of you that mess up, any of you that leave the real standard of God and go to do it your way, I promise you, you will be a failure in life. I told them, you cannot succeed outside God. You cannot succeed in duping people. You cannot succeed stealing. You cannot succeed going to courtism. You cannot succeed preparing charm. I warned my children and I told them all this, it will never happen. I am persuaded. I am persuaded. And all my spiritual children, let me tell you, as far as I have an anchor with me, and they have come closer and begin to say, Daddy, I'm one of your daughters, I'm one of your sons in the Lord. You go back to sin and think you can succeed in sin. You are under a hedge. You are under protection. You are under a covenant. If you go outside God, you cannot succeed. But inside God, you can succeed and succeed and succeed and succeed again. As far as you are in Christ Jesus. My God. That means he said, For I am persuaded. That there's a voice in me talking. There's an evidence inside of me. There's a prayer in me. There's an assurance in me. There is a great voice in me telling me that, I, that, that neither death, nor life, nor angels, principalities, that is the devil himself, nor power, nor things to come, nor things to uh, no, no, no things present, no things to come. That means not what you are even suffering now, not even what you are going to see in life can be able to separate you from the love of God. But why do you hate, think that God hates you? Somebody was crying and said, Daddy, I don't know. Other people are doing this, they are going for you. Whenever I do it, God will catch me. Whenever I do this, this that is because He loves you. Is it not somebody you love so much that you become jealous of? You can love somebody inside of your heart and become jealous of that person. The person is talking to people in here, he's not talking to you. You become jealous. Why is the woman demanding that the husband is not talking to her? The woman is demanding because the woman is jealous. She needed the husband to talk. Oh God. Oh my God. You must have to follow the word of the Lord. You must have to do it the word of God. We stopped on this point 12 today. God will help us. So by the time we come back next tomorrow, we we'll continue from point 13. This is how to maintain your peace. That your peace that have been lost, that your peace that have gone away, it can be restored. Child of God, that peace can come back. That peace can be restored. That peace can come back. The peace of the Lord can come back to you. That peace can be restored. The mighty hand of God can restore that peace and joy in you. And Christ's name shall be on all that do forever. Hallelujah. 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 I can see your peace coming back. I can see the mighty peace of God bringing peace. Judgment is going on. You ask yourself, but why have I loved this peace? But why is man so stubborn? When the Lord God Almighty has spoken good about you, you are doubting him. You don't doubt your boss. You say you give him money. You don't doubt. You don't doubt. You say you promote you. You don't doubt people around you, but you doubt God. The one God said he would do, you doubt. Child of God. Every time you cry, I thought that God would have done it this way. I thought that God would. Are you God? Why are you directing God? Who are you to direct God? All you need to do is to obey Him. 
Let me tell you something. When you choose to be like the world, the world will not last again. Momentarily, everything will disappear. And you will regret in eternity. The world is minute, insignificant, so small. Eternity is so large and long. Think and rethink. Where will you spend it? The fruits of the Spirit is missing so much. That's why pastor is fighting pastor. Evangelist is fighting apostle. Apostle is fighting prophet. The church is in chamber. That is why people come and talk about money and they're not talking about the soul that is perishing and going astray. They're after your money. They're after your pocket. They're after your purse. Whenever a rich man gets one again, we this his moon, one year, that made him elder in the church because he has money. We look at somebody that started 13, 15, 20, 30 years ago with you. He has no money. You cannot make him anything. He's spiritually strong, financially poor. And the other person is financially buoyant and spiritually poor. You choose the person that is spiritually poor and financially buoyant and make him what you want to make him. I want you to repent to any man of God hearing my voice. You're having a congregation. Your eyes is on the people that have gotten money. Repent. Train source of men. You see what is happening to us today? Because we produced millionaire Christians and not disciples that will die for Christ. Pastor, let me tell you. All those people are training, telling them God will bless them. God will be here. They are psychedelic ladies. They dress like the devil and come to the church. You still welcome them? By the time the big shaking will start. Shaking have not started in Christianity. And people are already complaining and panicking. When you Better go for this peace. So have this peace in you right now because more shaking will come. The world will never be good again. The world will never be all right again. You must keep hearing stories. By the time we pass through 2020, coronavirus, we thought about by 21. Oh, by 2021 again, what happened? Is it not tomorrow? Is it not killing? Is it not destroying? And another sickness came out. <laughs> there are people, they are informants of the dangerous thing that will happen. I'm not interested. I'm in Christ. Everything that happened will work out for my own good. Stop selling your peace. Get back where you sold your peace and to whosoever you must have motivated your peace to. Take back your peace and walk in the perfect will of God. And it shall be well with you. If you are not born again, you don't have peace at all. You may think you are drinking your wine in the air-conditioned house with the keys of your car, with a beautiful bungalow house, or upstate, or mansion, and then you don't have peace because it's only Jesus that can give you peace. You are not saved. It's only Jesus that can save you. All of us are called to holiness. Some people say, no, I'm not a holiness preacher. I have a classmate. We passed through the Bible college about 33, 34, 35 years ago. We passed through the Bible college. We've never met. He's abroad. We have never met for long. And unfortunately, we met on Facebook. I saw him preaching. He saw me preaching. He asked me, ah, I used to this, I used this. I said, yes, by the grace of God, God is helping me. He said, I want us to work together. I will want us to work. I said, no problem. By the time I told him I'm a holiness preacher, he said, he's a devilish preacher. Now, what should I say? I'm a holiness preacher. I said, yes, I stand purely on holiness, purity. I stand on the undivided world, the whole world. Since then, he ran away from me. I've been sending him messages, this and that. He never replied me at all. <laughs> we are preachers. But at the end of the day, we're going to be rewarded. Child of God, who is your friend? That the person, how can you make somebody a friend who doesn't believe in pure holiness and righteousness? And that's the person moving with. Whenever you see a believer, always moving with unbeliever, he, that's a sign of a slider. That's a sign of a slider. You always, without unbeliever, in the morning and afternoon, you have a slider. Repent now. I'm not preaching a sweet gospel. Repent. Jesus said, 
in my look that's it he said it up from verse number one read it down say unless you repent you likewise perish he said it up to three times no apology must we hide to tell you if you don't repent who are you are you not made out of dust you think you will not die so many people is the, you know is beaten mighty wickedness in their life thinking they will not die today have they not gone so many generals from Miami. So many scientists from the field of science. They felt they will not die. So many people, so many philosophers. Where are they today? They have gone. One day you'll be a history. Give your life to Jesus now. Repent. You're committing fornication now. It is me sweetening you. By the time you'll be dropping pit of hell, where your body will peel out, all those uh, expensive cosmetics you have been using, boom, 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 will cut off your bodies. And hell will begin to show it on you. And my God will start coming out of you. That is the time you'll be so shocked. That is the time you say, this man is preaching truth. And so many preachers have been warning me. Now is the hour of salvation. Tomorrow might be too late. Shall we pray? Are you ready to give your life to Jesus? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the great coming day? I say, are you ready? Child of God, are you ready? Are you ready for the great coming day? Peace, Mister. Are you born again? Or do you want to give your life to Jesus? Do you want to say, Lord, I want to give my life to you now? If that is the decision you want to take, can you say after me, can you say, Lord Jesus? I am sorry I am a sinner. Forgive me every of my sins. Give me grace to be your child. I want to be a born again. Let the power of righteousness reside in me. I receive you, Lord Jesus, right now in my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Give me grace to be your child. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As you receive Jesus right now, may the grace, grace of God come upon you. May the power and grace to be a child of God rest upon you. Let the mighty hand of God come upon you. Let the mighty grace of God be upon your life. Let Jesus Christ of Nazareth be your King and God and Lord and Father and Savior. Let the immortal and the visible God, the ancient of the days, be your protection and preservation. Let his mighty hand of grace reside upon your life. And let Jesus make you whole and sound. In the name of Jesus. Let the mighty hand of God be upon you. The power to be a child of God and live a holy life be upon your life. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Look for where to worship God. Look for. If all the environment you don't see where they're preaching truth of the word of God, click. There are a lot of them in Facebook. Spend time with God. Pray. Read your Bible. Feel free. My WhatsApp line is here. Drop question for me. You read your Bible, you didn't understand. Drop it. I will explain to you. Calling to get me direct most of the time might not work. I might be time I'm preaching or doing one thing or the other. But when you drop your message, surely I will reach you. God keep you and bless you. As men that are already born again, I pray you have lost your peace or you have motivated your peace somewhere. Wherever your peace is motivated, I remove it out of that place. In any man, your peace is hanging. In any woman, your peace is hanging. I remove it from that man. I remove it from that woman. I remove it from that idol. I remove it from anywhere in the name of Jesus. Is your peace hanging on that house? Is your peace hanging on that car? On that finance? I remove your peace wherever it's hanging. I hang it on Jesus. May divine peace come your way. A mighty power of peace come your way. In the name of Jesus. And let the power of righteousness. That is also a nation come your way. And let the God of peace give you peace. And may you live in peace to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. I decree you are going out to be in peace. This year will end up in peace for you. You see the glorious hand of God. You see the peace of God. You see the mightiness of the Lord. And Christ them shall be honored in you in the name of Jesus. We give God all the praise. As his mighty hand of peace walk upon you. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. 
Let this peace rule over your life and the joy of the Lord become your portion forever. In Jesus' name. God bless you. The Lord keep you, preserve you and protect you and his joy remain your strength forever and ever. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Your favor until I see you again by Wednesday. Share this message the more. Connect more people to this whenever we're alive. May God bless you, keep you, and protect you. Peace unto you. In Jesus' name. Amen. You're blessed.